Did you go and forgive your mother? The same thing she said I was brainwashed because my mom spews poison every time she talks told her that she did she had tried to turn me into a woman and we're okay with that now but if she continues to act in a i told her if she continues to do that i can't be in a relationship with her and when and you, that's what she said i was brainwashed chris is all the way from china if ever i needed you lord i need you now chris thank you for calling <laughs> you on the air amazing it's so uh, nice to talk to you amazing chris Wow, can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Yeah. Like I'm getting a poor connection. Yeah, loud and clear, sir. Oh, amazing. Okay, great. Um, my question is, um, I come from a very dysfunctional childhood. Parents divorced. My dad's been divorced three times. He's full of anger. And I have my own family now. I have my own baby and a wife who's amazing. And I did a lot of recovery and personal therapy to get to this point. And now um, I want to know if you would recommend being in a relationship with a hostile father. Like, he used to beat me, whip me, and he's you told been divorced him. several times because of his anger. How old are you, uh, Chris? I'm 38. And so why do you need to be in a relationship with him now? I don't. So did you marry a woman who already had children? Um, no, we made our own family. My woman, my wife is eight <laughs> years younger than I am. Eight years younger? Yeah, that's correct. Right on, man. Somebody doing it right. Thank you. Did you go back yeah, to... Yeah, we got married. We did everything correctly. Did you go and forgive your mother and father? I'm sorry, one more time? Did you forgive your mother and father? Actually, I had to kind of cut them out of my life. And, uh, like, so defining forgiveness... What, what's your definition of forgiveness? So I just want to ask for you, did you go and forgive them? Uh, I did, and then my dad said I was paranoid and crazy that he had done nothing wrong to forgive. Did you go and forgive your mother? The same thing. She said I was brainwashed. You went and forgave your mother? I did. I told her that she, did, she had tried to turn me into a woman, and we're okay with that now, but if she continues to act in a... Because my mom spews poison every time she talks. I told her if she continues to do that, I can't be in a relationship with her. And, what do and that's you, what she said. I was brainwashed. What did you mean when you told her you were okay with that now? What did that mean? If I told him I was okay with it? You say you told your mother that she tried to brainwash, I mean, uh, whatever she tried to do to you. and But you're okay with that now. What did you mean by that? Well, the thing is, I can't really have these people around my life even though if I do forgive them, because they'll be influencing my children. Chris, did you and go? And my job as a man is to protect them. Did you go to your mother and forgive her? I did, yes. Chris, I sent her a very long email. We had a discussion through Chris, that way. By email? I'm sorry? By email? Yeah. Did you go to your mother and forgive her? Um, not in person, because I am in China. And she is in the United States. She did not. Well, um, she got defensive. So, Again, Chris, said, Chris, you know, Chris, 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 can you Skype? Yes. Are you able to FaceTime or Skype with her? Yes. I recommend you FaceTime her or Skype with her and face your mother and let her know what she did to you and forgive her for it. She cannot help herself. And if she doesn't apologize, then you can stay away from her. Likewise, with your father. What did your father do to you? Uh, like I said, uh, my mom told me stories about he used to beat me as an infant, like if I wouldn't stop crying. And I remember my well, some of my first memories with him were like getting whipped as like a four-year-old, like just a really violent, hostile guy. Chris, what did your father do to you? Physical abuse. Chris, don't believe anything your mother told you about your father. I won't, but I do remember physical abuse. It wasn't abuse. It was a whooping. It wasn't abuse. Women call it an abuse because they want to turn you away from your father. Men call it whooping. Mm -hmm. It's not abuse. You told Hoppo to beat me. It's not abuse. Liberal women call it abuse because they want to degrade the men 
They want to take your children away from you. If I were you, I wouldn't use that word. Men, okay, so, don't, men don't use the word abuse. Your sure. mother told you that. You need to drop that because if you don't, your wife will turn on you and she's going to say you abuse her. Okay, so my question then is... Um, and so whooping is whip- not abuse. Okay, whooping's okay to a four-year-old? I don't know. It all depends on what he did and why. But, Chris, you have identified with your mother. That's why you hate your father. You need to apologize to your father for resenting him, and God will forgive you. Likewise, you need to apologize for your mother, or I mean to your mother, for turning you away from your father. Okay. But, Chris, so not by— time. I've been- Listen, Chris, not by email. You need to face them, if you can, so you can get your courage back. Sure. I'll do it via Skype. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Will you and let, will you let me know? It's really hard to get on to talk to you. Will you let me know how it goes? Yeah, I will, definitely. I'll email you <laughs> to let you know how it goes. <laughs> no, call me back on the air. Let me know. <laughs> it's hard to call, but okay, I could I could do that. But listen, Chris, um, it's so important you do it. And don't ask your mother or father for forgiveness. You forgive them, and God will forgive you. Then you will see if you want to be around them or not, because you're not obligated to be around them. Or, and or if they don't repent, I wouldn't allow them around my children. You're doing the right thing by that. Okay, thank you. So just to summarize, just to, so I'm clear, if they still say that I'm paranoid and crazy and they did nothing wrong, then I can, and they continue with their toxic behaviors, I can break away. Is that correct? Absolutely. Like that's healthy. Absolutely. For my children. Absolutely. But don't let your wife convince you to do it. As a man, you should lead the way you should do it. But don't let your wife convince you to do it. Absolutely. Okay, Okay, Reverend Peterson, thank you so much for your time. All right, buddy. Thank you, Chris. I wish you well. Thank you again so much. All right, buddy. Bye.